here once more to orient your fitness in the right direction. And today, I want to talk to you about the worst possible disc herniation that you can get in your lower back that's actually an immediate medical emergency. But before I can discuss that with you, you should first understand what a disc herniation is. So your spinal cord, it runs from the base of your skull all the way down through your lower back. And your spinal cord, it runs from in between in a canal created by these vertebral bones that are stacked on top of one another. So your spinal cord, it runs through this canal here in the back. And you got these discs in between each bone that act as shock absorbers. And this is where the disc herniation happens. It's most of the time, the vast majority of the time, in the back. And you have an inner GUI layer in the disc and a harder outer layer. During a disc herniation, the inner layer goes through the outer layer and it starts compressing on the nerves that come out of the spinal cord. And most of the time, that's not really an issue because a disc herniation, it can cause lower back pain, it can cause pain, tingling, numbness and weakness down your leg. But this isn't really a medical emergency. There's actually exercises you can do, such as the McKenzie exercises and physical therapy that can push the gooey layer back into the uh, outer layer that it burst out of. So disc herniations aren't really that big of a deal. Most people think it's, if it's the end of the world, but it's really not. But there's one, in rare instances, there's a particular disc herniation in the lower back that's a huge deal. And so your spinal cord, once it gets to the, your lower back, it starts to split off. And in Latin, this area is called the cauda equina, which means horse's tail. So from the base of your skull down, it's pretty much one cord. But once it gets to your lower back, it splits off. into, And it looks like a horse's tail. And your, these nerves, they innervate your lower body. So they give you sensation. They allow your muscles to turn on. They send signals from your body to your brain, from your brain to your body. And basically, the, this cauda equina, if you get a huge disc herniation, that can compress the entire cauda equina. So you, if you get into a major car accident, if you get a catastrophic gym injury, you could get such a huge disc herniation that's compressing the entire cauda equina. And when that happens, you get different symptoms than you would get in a disc herniation. Some are similar, but some are different. Uh, one symptom is progressively worsening lower back pain, pain, tingling, weakness, numbness. It progressively gets worse. And also, another big sign of cauda equina is loss of bowel and bladder control. So if you are unable to defecate or you defecate yourself, that's a sign. If you are unable to urinate or you suddenly urinate yourself, that is a sign. So loss of control of bowel and bladder. And another huge sign is saddle anesthesia. So Set your saddle region, if you were to sit on a horse, that is the saddle region, the area where the saddle is touching. If you were to lose sensation in your inner thighs, in your rectal area, in your sexual organs, that is a huge sign. And so if you have those three signs, progressively worsening, pain, tingling, numbness, loss of bowel and bladder control, and you get saddle anesthesia, if you have those three things, that is likely cauda equina, and that is an immediate medical emergency. Because if you wait too long, those nerves can be permanently affected. I believe I read it was 48 hours. So beyond that time, you are likely going to experience permanent damage, which means permanent loss of bowel and bladder control, and permanent weakness or paralysis in your lower body, which you definitely don't want. So you need to go to the emergency room, and you need to get those surgery to have those the cauda equina area decompressed of that herniation. But this is very rare. It, it's very, very rare that this happens. If you get a regular disc, disc herniation, it's not really that big of a deal. You want to get it treated, but cauda equina is a huge deal that you definitely want to go to the emergency room for. So remember those three things I told you. All right guys, this has been Jeff once more, orienting your fitness in the right direction. Hopefully you learned something from this video. If you liked it, please thumb it up, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and I'll see you guys later.